right good afternoon everyone so we will start with the conversion of the parameters so we are aware of four parameters now we will be starting with the interconnection of the interconversion of the parameters okay so first we will start up with the z parameter z parameter now first we are going to deal with conversion of z parameter z parameter will be converted into y parameter h parameter and abcd parameter so you will have uh, simple substitution formulas okay we will be rearranging and finding out the values for z parameter okay first z parameter in terms of other parameters so what we have done we have written the first z equation z parameter is also called as the impedance parameter or the open circuit parameter right so the equation is v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay now first we are trying to convert this in terms of y parameters okay so what are the y parameter equation y parameter equation has given here i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 and i2 is equal to y21 v1 plus y22 v2 now if i write this in the matrix i will get it out like this right in the matrix form i am converting the equation so i am getting i1 i2 y11 y12 y21 y22 into v1 v2 now the current matrix is equal to the admittance into the voltage matrix okay now see we are going to follow the cramer's rule and we are going to find out the value for v1 now from this equation if i wanted to find out v1 what i will do v1 is equal to del1 by del okay now what is del1 del1 is nothing but one minute so this is del1 del1 is equal to i1 i2 y1 to y2 and del is y11 y12 y21 y22 uh, i think you understand how i am taking del1 and del from the before equation from this equation from this equation we are trying to form the value for del1 and del del1 will be in this matrix i am going to substitute the other matrix okay so i am getting these values okay now to find the above matrix uh, above del value this will be y22 i1 minus y12 i2 divided by del del of y matrix you know what is del of y matrix just cross multiplying just finding out the determinant y11 y22 minus y12 y21 okay now this equation whatever i am getting here can be splitted and written like the below one right y22 into i1 divided by the denominator y11 y22 minus y12 y21 okay minus y12 is this y12 into i2 divided by y11 y22 minus y12 y21 okay now what is this equal to this is equal to v1 okay now i am going to compare this with the master equation master equation here is the z parameter equation now we have written the z parameter equation also v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 now this equation okay is compared with the obtained equation okay so comparing this both i can tell this value is equal to z11 z11 is equal to y22 divided by y11 y22 minus y12 y2 or we can write as y22 by del y okay and what is z12 z12 is equal to this one z12 is equal to minus y12 divided by y11 y22 minus y12 y21 okay so we had got two parameters now z11 and z12 we had got next v2 v2 we are going to found, find out by substituting del2 value del2 uh, del2 divided by del okay so if i solve i'll get it as y11 i2 minus y21 i1 divided by y11 y22 minus y12 y21 okay so now again separate this equation and write when i separate this equation i will get it as minus y21 by y11 y22 minus y12 y21 into 
I1 plus Y11 into I2 divided by Y11 Y22 minus Y12 Y21. Okay. Now I'm going to compare this equation with the second one. Okay, second one is what? Because this is going to be equal to V2. Second equation, Z parameter equation is Y2 to Y2, sorry, V2 is equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. Now, what is Z21? This is the value for Z21. Okay, so this is the value for Z21. Z21 is equal to minus Y21 divided by del Y. Okay. And what is Z22? Z22 is going to be the coefficient of I2. So this is Z22. Z22 is equal to Y11 divided by Y11, Y22 minus Y12, Y21. Okay. This is going to be del, del Y. Okay. Whatever we have got here, same thing I have written it. Okay. Z11 is equal to Y22 by del Y. Z12 is equal to minus Y12 by del Y. Z21 is equal to minus Y21 by del Y. Z22 is equal to Y11 by del Y. Okay. So now we had converted Z parameter in terms of Y parameter. Okay. Next, in terms of H parameter, it has to be converted. Same way. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to rearrange the equation. See, we have taken the H parameter equation. Always take the other parameter equation the edge parameter equation, I am going to rearrange the second equation. Okay. Now, when I rearrange the second equation, H22 V2 is equal to minus H21 I1 plus I2. Or from this, I can obtain V2 is equal to minus H21 by H22 into I1 plus 1 by H22 into I2. Okay. Now, we are going to compare this V2 equation with the Z parameter equation to find out the final answer. Okay. Now, see your coefficient of I1 will be Z21. So, this is Z21. Z21 is equal to minus H21 by H22. What is Z22? Z22 is equal to Z22 is equal to this is Z22 1 by H22. This value is 1 by H22. So, we have got two parameters now. Now, coming to the second one. See, take the uh, H parameter equation itself. This first equation, V1 is equal to H11 I1 plus H12 into V2. In the place of V2, substitute the value from here. Okay, that's what has been done here in this equation. Now, try to rearrange. Rearrange and pull out I1 term separately and I2 term separately. Because that's what we need here. Finally, what we are going to do is we are going to compare I1 and I2 value and find out the Z11 and Z12 value. Okay. So, when I rearrange, I get it as H11 minus H12 H21 by H22 into I1 plus H12 by H22 into I2. Okay. So, this will be, this will be the value for Z11. Okay. Z11, you can write it as H11 into H22 minus H12 into H21 divided by H22. Okay. And this is the value for Z12. Z12 is equal to H12 by H22. Okay. So we have got this value also. The other two we have obtained in the previous condition itself. Okay. So likewise, you will be comparing each parameters and you will be finding out the value. Next, we have to convert uh, Z parameter in terms of ABCD parameter. One minute. Okay, so what we are doing is we are taking the ABCD parameters. ABCD parameter, we know the equation is V1 is equal to A, V2 minus B, I2 we will be getting. So that has been written 
plus b into minus i okay just for simplicity uh, so that for conversion it will be easy for you i1 is equal to cv2 plus d into minus i2 now what you do second equation rearrange it then i rearrange cv2 is equal to cv2 is equal to i1 plus d into i2 okay or v2 is equal to it can be written like this 1 by c into i1 plus d by c into i2 now this is v2 right compare this with the second equation v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay now tell me what is z21 chat box is open you can post me what is z21 what is z21 tell me fast we have to move for other derivations what is z21 compare both the equations and tell what is z21 value z21 value is 1 by c very good what is z22 value z22 value is d by c z22 value is d by c okay right so same way we will be converting it okay i hope you have understood now the procedure right now what we are going to do is we are going to substitute this value of v2 in the first equation okay first equation v1 is equal to a into v2 so v2 wherever v2 is there i'll be substituting this value minus b into i2 okay ajay kumar ready you have some doubt nothing ma'am by mistake okay. so substituting that and simplifying you get this equation v1 is equal to a by c into i1 plus ad by c minus b into i2 okay now this has to be compared with the first equation of the z parameter first equation is v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 okay so z11 z11 is equal to a by c this is z11 z11 is equal to a by c and what is z12 z12 is equal to ad minus bc by c okay that's a that's how you get the value so z11 is equal to a by c z12 is equal to ad minus bc by c and z21 is equal to 1 by c z22 is equal to d by c okay now is that parameter conversion we have done next we have to move about the y parameter conversion Oh, converting y parameter, y parameter will be y parameter is also called as the admittance parameter or the short circuit parameter. It will be converted in terms of z parameter, h parameter, and a b c d parameter. Okay. Now first we will start up with the y parameter in terms of z parameter. Okay. See now z to y and y to z alone. we will be doing like this del 1 we will find out the matrix value and then we will find out the uh, we will compare the equations for for all other equations for all other conversions we will take the equation and then we will rearrange and then compare okay this putting del 1 by del del 2 by del will be done only uh, from when we are converting is that parameter to y parameter or when we are converting y parameter to z parameter all others we will be just rearranging the equation or substituting the equation and then we will be finding out okay now see here z parameter equations we are taking v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay now this is written in the matrix form now solving the above equation using cramer's rule i1 is equal to you will write it as v1 v2 z1 to z2 by del what is del z11 z21 z12 z22 okay so now finding out the answer this will be z22 into v1 z22 into v1 minus z12 into v2 divided by z11 z22 minus z12 into z21 okay 
next next what we are going to do i am going to separate and write the equation so this will be z22 by z11 z22 minus z12 z22 into v1 minus z12 into v2 by z11 z22 minus z12 into z21 okay now compare this equation what is this equation this is for i1 so compare this equation with first equation Okay, so this will be the value for y11. Y11 will be z22 divided by z11 z22 minus z12 z22. Okay, and this will be the value for y12. Y12 is equal to minus z12 divided by z11 z22 minus z12 z21. Okay, next. I two is equal. I two is equal to. I'm going to write it as del two divided by del. So you will have z one one v two minus z two one v one divided by z one one z two two minus z one two into z two one. Okay. So this will be. Yeah. Now you separate and write it. When you separate and write it, you have to interchange because we are going to compare the coefficients of v one and v two. Okay. So you have to interchange and write. So this will be minus z two one divided by z one one z two two minus z one two z two one into v one plus z one one divided by z one one z two two minus z one two into z two one. Okay. So this will be the value for y two one. This will be the value for uh, y two one, and this will be the value for Y two, you are just comparing. Don't modify the equation or substitute it anywhere. You are just comparing and finding out the answer. That's all. Okay. So we had got now y one one is equal to y two two by del z. Sorry, z two two by del z. Y one two is equal to minus z one two by del z. Y two one is equal to minus z two one by del z. Y two two is equal to z one one by del z. Okay. See. Please listen. We will. I will be converting for z parameter completely, and from h parameter, you have to be converting, and you have to give me the answers. Okay, right. In terms of h parameter, now we are going to convert y parameter in term of h parameter. So listen the concept. From when we are telling y to h, you have to take only the h equation. Okay, take the h equation, rearrange. Okay. Now compare we compare the h equation with the uh, y parameter equation. Left hand side, whichever is equal. Okay. See here, we are going to convert z to h. Okay. Now this is v one i two and this is i one i two. So i two is same, right? So what you will do, you will leave that equation and you will take the other equation. Okay. Rewrite the other equation. So rewriting equation one here: h one one i one is equal to v one minus h one two v two. Okay. Or substituting rearranging the equation: i one one is equal to one by h one one v one minus h one two by h one one into v two. Okay. Now compare this with I with the first equation of the y parameter. Okay, so this is going to be the value for y one one. Y one one is equal to one by h one one. Okay, and v two is going to be the the coefficient of v two is going to be the value for y one two. Okay, y one two is equal to minus h one two by h one one, or y one is equal to one by h one one. Okay, now substitute this equation. In the first one, okay. So here I two is equal to h two one into I one we are adding. Okay, this is the equation. In this equation, we are going to substitute h two one into I one. I one is equal to this value plus h two two into V two. Okay. Now rearrange this. How you have to rearrange this? You have to rearrange as you can compare this. So in terms of V one and V two, you are going to rearrange. Okay. So this is rearranged. I two is equal to h two one by h one one into v one plus h two two minus h one two h two one by h one one into v two. 
okay so now comparing the coefficients of v1 and v2 you can find out the answer for y21 and y22 okay so y21 will be equal to h21 by h11 this is y21 okay and y22 will be h22 minus h12 into h21 by h11 okay so we have got all the four parameters they have been given below y11 is equal to 1 by h11 y12 is equal to minus h12 by h11 y21 is equal to h21 by h11 and y22 is equal to h11 h22 minus h12 h21 divided by h11 or you can just put it as del h by h1 okay del h is nothing but the determinant of h value okay next the last one in this conversion is z parameter to abc to uh, abc parameter y parameter to abc parameter okay converting short circuit parameter in terms of transmission parameter so now take the equation master equation take abcd parameter equation we had uh, we had the equation as v1 is equal to ab2 minus bi2 and i1 is equal to cb2 minus d into i2 okay so now rearrange this now compare see here we have v1 and i1 okay and y parameter equation i1 and i2 so what is happening i1 is going to be the same so you have to take the other equation you understand whichever is not whichever is not the same because if it is the same we can substitute and compare no issues at all there right so the other equation you will take other equation is what v1 is equal to ab2 minus b into i2 now when you rearrange this you will have minus b i2 is equal to v1 minus ab2 right or i2 is equal to minus 1 by b into v1 plus a by b into v2 okay substituting value of i2 the other equation okay before that see we had got i2 value here coefficient of v1 will be y21 so this is y21 y21 is equal to minus 1 by b okay and y22 will be equal to a by b this is y22 y22 is going to be the uh, coefficient of b2 okay now substituting this value for i2 where in equation number 2 okay so i2 is equal to i1 is equal to cv2 so cv2 minus d i2 in this place of i2 you have to substitute here okay so as we have taken here minus this minus is taken inside okay into v2 clear next this is the value for minus i2 so directly we are substituting here don't get confused okay now this equation has to be compared with i1 right so you have to rearrange the equation in terms of v1 and v2 so when you are comparing v1 coefficient will be equal to y11 okay and v2 coefficient will be equal to y1 okay so rearranging you will get d by b v1 plus bc minus ad by b so this is the value for y11 and this is the value for y12 so y11 is equal to d by b and y12 is equal to bc minus ad by b and y21 is equal to minus 1 by b and y22 is equal to a by b okay i hope it is clear now any doubt still now the chat box is open you can post there you have any doubts now or we can proceed if you have some doubts you post it in the chat box h and z relation you wanted to know samita okay wait no This is H and Z. 
take h equation rearrange that okay find out the value for v2 v2 is equal to minus h2 1 by h2 2 into i1 plus 1 by h2 2 into i2 okay compare this find out the value for z21 and z22 next substitute this in the uh, first equation v1 is equal to h11 into i1 plus h12 into v2 substitute the value for v2 here rearrange in terms of i1 and i2 okay so you will have z, uh, z11 is equal to h11 minus h12 h21 by h22 or taking lcm it can be rewritten as down and z12 is equal to h12 h12 divided by h2 okay so i think we can proceed now ah now conversion of h parameter into z parameter okay Uh, now try to convert try to convert fast take 2 minutes h parameter to z parameter fast try to convert put it in a paper i'll be calling you out for the answers fast work out h parameter to z parameter first we need Has you converted? See, h parameter into z parameter. First, take out the z equation. Z equation is v11 is equal to v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 into i2. Next, v2 is equal to one second. V2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 into i2. Okay. now compare this with the h parameter equation okay now see here which is similar this is v1 and v2 and this is v1 and v2 v1 is similar so leave v1 equation take the other equation okay the other equation rewrite the other equation in terms of i2 okay i2 is equal to v2 by z22 minus z21 by z22 into i1 okay now compare this This i two is equal to v two by z two two. So coefficient of v two is what one by z two. That will be the value for h two one. Okay. Next, minus z two one by z two two is the coefficient of i one. Okay. So this will be the value for h two one. H two one is equal to minus z two one by z two two, and h two two is equal to one by z two two. Okay. Now. substitute i2 in one substitute this value i2 in the first equation so first equation will be v1 is equal to z11 into i1 okay plus z12 into i2 what is i2 i2 is the value what we have got here minus z21 by z22 into i1 plus v2 by z22 clear now rearrange the equation in terms of i1 and v2 okay so i1 will be coefficient of i1 will be h11 and coefficient of v2 will be h12 okay 
check whether you have got these answers. H11 is equal to del Z by Z22. H12 is equal to Z12 by Z22. H21 is equal to minus Z21 by Z22. H22 is equal to 1 by Z22. These are the value for when you are converting H parameter in terms of Z parameter. Okay. Next. Next try to convert H parameter in terms of Y parameter. Fast. Try to convert. Take 2 minutes. 1238. Take 2 minutes. Fast. Convert it. I'll be calling out calling out uh, for your answers first. You have to convert H parameter in terms of Y parameter. Over done. We'll check the answers. One twenty Divya. Divya, you can uh, unmute yourself. Have you converted? Ma'am, no, ma'am, not yet. Why? Why? What happened? You are able to understand? Yes, ma'am. I am helping my sister with her online class also, ma'am. Are Baba, what is this? You are not into <laughs> she, has, she has trouble getting into her class. Okay, then try converting now. Okay. Uh, others, you have converted? H parameter in terms of Y parameter. Okay, so take down the Y parameter equations. I1 is equal to Y11 V1 plus Y12 V2. And I2 is equal to Y21 V1 plus Y22 into V2. Okay. Now compare this with the Z parameter equation. Uh, sorry, H parameter equation. Okay. And then whichever is not similar, you are going to take the equation. So, so the first equation is not similar. I will take the first equation and I will rearrange. Okay. So V1 is equal to 1 by 1, 1 by Y11 into I1 minus Y12 by Y11 into V2. Okay. Now compare this with the H parameter equation. So when you compare this, you can get H11 value is equal to 1 by Y11 and H12 value is minus Y12 by Y11. Okay, so we have got two values now. The other value, the equation to be V substituted. So I2 is equal to substitute now in the second equation. I2 is equal to Y21 into V1. What is V1? V1 is the thing what we had found out. 1 by Y11 into I1. Okay, this one, this value. Minus Y12 by Y11 into V2. Plus Y22 into V2. Okay. Now we are going to compare this with the I2 equation. So you have to find out the coefficient of I1 and V2. Okay. So H21 value will be equal to Y22 by Y11. And H22 value will be equal to Y11 Y22 minus Y12 Y21 divided by Y11 is equal to del Y by Y11. Okay. So we had got all the four values. H11 is equal to 1 by Y11. H12 is equal to minus Y12 by Y11. 
h21 is equal to y22 by y11 h22 is equal to del y by y11 okay so four values we have got next h parameter should be converted in terms of a b c d parameter try converting you will check out please take out a paper write the equation try to rearrange and then solve it out you have to be thorough with this formulas you cannot be sitting and converting at the time of exam try converting h parameter in terms of a b c d parameter fast fast complete over completed Banu Prakash, three or two. Banu Prakash, you can unmute yourself. Banu Prakash, have you completed? Banu Prakash, is there or not? Just first unmute yourself and talk. So attendance need not be given to Banu Prakash, is it? Banu Prakash is absent for today. Hmm? Yes, just connected the phone and went out somewhere else. I think. Madhusudan ready? Three not seven. Madhusudan ready is there? So today's absent is Banu Prakash, Madhusudan Reddy, Sai Dinesh is there, okay, as of now three absentees. Mani Moli? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Manimoli, you are able to convert? Oh, yes, ma'am. What is the answer? You are getting the answer perfectly. I will uh, show the answers now on the screen. Just check. What is H21 answer? H, H, H21 minus 1 by D. Uh, H22? H22 C by D. Very good. H11? H1 um, B by D. And H12 is? A minus B C by D. A D minus B C by D. A D oh. minus B C. Yeah, very good, ma'am. Super. All others. I hope you would have uh, converted. So we'll proceed with the next one. Okay, next one. Conversion of A B C D parameters. Okay. Conversion of A B C D parameters. Take five minutes. Just try to convert. Then we will go through it fast. Convert ABCD parameter into EZ parameter first. Convert the transmission parameter in terms of impedance parameter. So you have to write the equation first for Z parameter. Compare with the ABCD parameter. Whichever is same, you have to take the other equation. The same equation should be omitted. 
okay take the other equation rearrange that first and then you can start comparing see we are taking the z parameter equation v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 into i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 into i2 okay now rewrite the second equation here so here only you will get confused whether to rewrite the first equation or second equation because if you see in some expressions we will rewrite the first one in some ex expressions we will rewrite the second one so you have to check that by comparing that with the parameter equations okay okay you got it very good next now compare that with the uh, abcd parameter equation i1 is equal to cv2 minus d into i2 now when you are comparing also check the coefficients check the parameter what you have to compare you cannot uh, compare the coefficients of v2 with i2 right so check that also and then find out the value so c will be equal to 1 by z21 and d will be equal to z22 by z21 okay now substitute this in v1 v1 is equal to z11 into i1 i1 value you substitute there plus z12 i2 okay rearrange this in terms of v2 and i2 okay so v1 is equal to now compare this with the abcd parameter equation v1 is equal to a v2 minus b i2 okay now here you should not make a mistake because till now you did not have a negative sign but when you are comparing with abcd you will have a negative sign in the master equation itself so check the negative sign also okay a is equal to z11 by z21 and b is equal to del z by z21 okay next abcd parameter in terms of y parameters okay in y parameters take the y parameter equation okay we write the second equation second equation will be rewritten as v1 is equal to minus y22 by y21 into v2 plus 1 by y21 into i2 okay compare this with the abcd equation abcd parameter equation v1 is equal to av2 minus b into i2 so a value will be equal to minus y22 into y21 minus y22 by y21 and b is equal to minus 1 by y21 okay so this will be the value for a and b now uh, substitute this value of v1 in first equation i1 i1 is equal to y11 into v1 y1 uh, v1 value plus y12 into v2 now rearrange this in terms of v2 and i2 and then compare this with the parameter equation i1 is equal to cv2 minus d into i2 c is equal to after comparing you can find c is equal to y12 y21 minus y12 y11 y22 divided by y21 okay so this will be the value for c c is equal to minus del y by y21 and d value is minus y11 by y21 okay the last one will be abcd parameter in terms of h parameter so h parameter what you have to do is you have to Uh, rewrite the second equation second equation is what i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 into v2 okay now we re rewrite this and find the value for i1 i1 is equal to minus h22 by h1 h21 into v2 plus 1 by h21 into i2 okay now compare this with the abcd equation clear uh, i think you would have got these values just check your values C value is minus h22 by h21, and D value is minus 1 by h21. Okay. Now substitute the value for i1 in v1 equation. Okay, v1 is equal to h11 into i1 value. Please substitute there plus h12 v. Rearrange the equation such that you get the equation as the coefficient of v2 and i2. Okay. So v2 and i2 means you will get the value for a and b. Okay, a value will be h12 h21 minus h11 h22 divided by h21, or this can be written as minus del h by h21. And b value is equal to minus h11 by h2. Okay, hope you had got this value.
have you got this value any doubts as of now the chat box is open my you can post out there any um, doubts as of now any doubts okay now see we had converted if you are given any parameter value it can be converted to any other parameter value right as per this conversion so the formulas are more important okay the formulas has been tabulated and given to you in this tabulation form you can take down this value you can take down a snapshot of this okay but see here here we are here i had given z y h and g okay take down this the a b c d parameter also i'll compare and give you in the next class take down a snapshot of this any doubts you can tell me G parameter is the inverse of H parameter, ma'am. Okay, G parameter is not there for you. If you want, I will put it out in some other tabulation with H parameter. We'll go to the problems. Okay, problem C. They'll be asking you like this. The first example we will see here. The Z parameter of the two port network are given as Z11 is equal to 20, Z12, Z21 is equal to 10 ohms. And Z two two is equal to thirty ohms. Okay, find Y parameter and E B C D parameter. So Z parameter value is given. You are being asked to find out Y and E B C D parameter. Okay, first find del Z value. This might be useful. Okay, del Z is what Z one one into Z two two minus Z one two by Z one two into Z two. Now first to find Y parameter. What is the Y parameter formula? Y one one is equal to in terms of Z you have to write. Okay, so Y in terms of Z means you have to take out from the tabulation. Okay, I'll do one thing. I'll put out the A B C D parameter also and give you a snapshot in the next class. That will be more useful for you. Okay, Y one one is equal to Z two two by del Z. Now what is Z two two? Z two two is given to be thirty and del Z is five hundred. So you will get it as three by five, three by fifty mo. Okay, mo is the unit for admittance. Okay. Next, find out y two one value. Y two one is equal to minus z two one by del z. Okay, z two one is given to be ten ohms. Clear? Find out del z. Del z is five hundred. So substitute here. Find out minus one by fifty. Okay. Next, find out y one two value. Y one two is minus z one two by del z. Clear? So minus z one two is what ten. So you will have it as minus ten by. 500 so that is going to be minus 1 by 15 next y22 y22 is equal to z11 by del z or this will be 2 by 15 okay that's how we had got the y parameter values so y11 y12 y21 and y22 just substitute here get the values okay next you have to find the abcd parameter value abcd parameter value is what find out the formula for a in terms of z So A will be equal to Z11 by Z21. C is equal to 1 by Z21. B is del Z by Z21, and D is Z22 by Z21. Okay. So A is equal to 20 by 10. That is going to be 2. Okay. See both the parameters are impedance, so you will not have any unit here. That is more important. Okay. Next, C value will be equal to 1 by 10.1. 
B value is 500 by 1050 and D value is 30 by 1030. Okay. That has been written in the matrix form. Okay. Any doubts here? Pa? Like this only you will be getting problems. Okay. You will be given one parameter and you will be asked to convert that into some other parameter. Hope you had understood this. G parameter is the inverse of H parameter, okay? Yeah, conversion is equally important. Ma. Conversion is equally important. Rather than the derivation, the formulas are more important. Right, if you are, don't have any doubts, we'll continue in the next class. Thank you.